What's up guys? Today I want to address a question and kind of concern a lot of people have been having recently or maybe some of you haven't thought of that you might need to and that is Trump. So um, many of you heard he might be or he wants to put like a trade restriction or a tariff or something of that sort with trade to China. So let me go over this article real quick with you. Uh, it's just the beginning. I've been sent a couple of these. So it says Monday he authorized his top trade official to look into um, whether China is guilty of intellectual property theft, blah, blah, blah. Um, move could eventually lead to trade sanctions. Called action, very big move against practices that cost our nation millions of jobs and billions and billions of dollars each year. Now, why would he do this? It's obvious. It's better for the economy if everything stays in the U.S. Is that reasonable? Probably not. Uh, I'm not going to get into that aspect. But how would this affect you? Would it be the end of Amazon since, oh, we can't get it from China, we... Or it's, oh, it's 20% tax. So there's a couple things that could happen. I'll tell you what I think is going to happen, but no one really knows. And how to adjust if any of these do happen. So first thing, nothing happens. Nothing changes. Okay. Um, I don't think that'll happen. I think there might be a small change, but I'll talk to you at the end about how we'll adjust. So second thing is he could put a tariff on it. So is that just like a tax on anything imported from China? Now, Germany already has this and people still sell on it. It's 20%. Germans have that and they can still get profitable products. Why is that? Why, if they have to lose 20%, how are they making any money if their margins are like 30? Well, everyone in Germany has to pay that tax when it's imported, so prices naturally increase. So that would be the same thing here. Let's say he puts a tariff, let's just say it's 20%. Do you think your competition's doing the same thing as you? They're sourcing it uh, in China, they're bringing it here. Most likely, 95% of them are doing the same thing as you. If there's a 20% tariff, let's say put on, even 50%. That just means prices are going to rise by that much, and it'll eventually even out like that. Now, that's one option. Now, some people might stick with that. Now, what else could you do if there's a tariff um, on things imported from China? You could source in another country. India works. I've heard, oh, what did I hear? I think Czech Republic was pretty good. There's so many other places you can source, and you can start looking locally if you want. That would make things easier, shorter times. Yes, it might be a little bit more expensive, but you have to compare... Is it more expensive than if there was a tariff on it? Is it 20% more and whatnot? But what you guys got to understand is things will adjust. It's not going to be the end of e-commerce, the end of Amazon, if there's a 20% tax. You just have to adjust and actually hope there is something like this because it should weed out some of the weaker competition on Amazon that gets scared off and be like, oh, that's it. That's kind of the same thing when Amazon changed their policy on how they got reviews. Bunch of people left. I was like, perfect. I'll just adjust and then keep going. So that's the same thing with this. Now, what is something else that could happen with this? Could be a trade ban. So it could be, I don't think this will happen, but you can't source anything from China, not allowed to bring it into the country. Um, or it'll be some ridiculous, let's just say it's 200% tariff for some reason. Again, source internationally. Uh, you can look in China, you can look in Germany, Czech Republic, anywhere. India is a big one. Or you can source locally, same thing. And keep in mind, let's say any of these happen, what you can expect. Let's say it's a little bit more expensive to source in India or somewhere other than China. Prices will slowly rise a little bit to whatever it is. It'll even out and everything will go back to how it was. Um, you just have to learn to adjust to what's happening. It'll never be the end of e-commerce no matter what happens with this. People always find a way. Um, let's say, now one thing that could happen, which I don't know, it might, is let's say he does put a tariff. Let's say it's 20% on anything imported from China. You know how much that will affect Chinese suppliers, how many people in the US are importing? Their prices will probably drop too. So it'll create an equilibrium between the supplier and with the prices on Amazon. Now, I look as th at this as a benefit. You don't, you can't look at it as like, oh, it's gonna cost me more money now, it's gonna be more difficult, I'm not gonna make as much money. It's, okay, I just have to change what I'm doing, it's gonna get rid of some of the weak competition that just doesn't know what they're doing, and doesn't know how to adjust, and I'm gonna, be able to benefit more from this. That's why I look forward to things like that. I want the economy to crash. I want housing to crash because I know how to take advantage of those things when they happen, when people are scared. That's when you have to jump on it and really go all in is when people are scared and don't know what to do. So figure out how to adjust, make it work. That's what entrepreneurship is. It's adapting to changes and being the first to do it and kind of taking advantage when people are scared and whatnot. And that's all this is. Um, if you guys have any other concerns and whatnot, uh, now, I might have said something wrong here. I don't know exactly um, what this was. I just wanted to talk about what might happen with what he's talked about previously. 
So if you have any other concerns about Amazon, things that might affect it like this, I'd love to do more videos on this and talk about them. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know about this. I assume a lot of you follow this and would know already, but I hope that was helpful. Leave me some comments on what you guys think will happen and how you would adjust, and I will see you guys tomorrow.